I'm so glad you're here today. So today I want to tell you all about the salon language and I'm going to do this in part in different parts. This is going to be part one of salon language and today we're going to talk about root touch-up and tint touch-up. They're both equally the same. Now I know sometimes you see your highlights grown out and you see your roots and you think oh I need a root touch-up. I'm sorry to say you don't need a root touch-up. That's a whole separate service compared to the root touch-up. Let me explain what a root touch-up really is or a tint touch-up. Root, tint touch-up, either one works. They're both the same. So a root touch-up would be as if you had one solid color and it could be blonde, brunette, redhead. And what you do is once your hair kind of grows out, which would be the, your natural coming out, sometimes you'll see your gray. So this would also be considered a gray coverage. So you're taking the color and you're directly placing it on the head or the hair, the hair head. There are no foils involved in this service. So this is going to be taking whatever current color you have and putting it back over here in the new area of growth. So again, no foils, even if you have highlights and there is a distinct uh, demarcation of the separation of your natural and the highlights, it's still not a root touch up. That again is a separate service, which I'm going to do a video on that one later. So now when you do a root touch up, this is a service that you will have done maybe every four to eight weeks, depending on the color and depending on your uh, co gray coverage. So someone who is blonde, she will definitely be coming in every four weeks, regardless of grays. Somebody who has grays, she will be coming in every four to six weeks, depending on how much she hates seeing the grays. Usually, we hate seeing them grays, don't we? Yeah. So we're in there every four to six weeks to knock them right out. Now, another thing is that a root touch-up, tint touch-up, is usually about half an inch to, I would say the max two inches, but we usually say half an inch to an inch and a half. That's about it. Any more than that, um, any more than two, if you've got, you have like, let's say, three, four, five inches of growth. Now you're, now it's now a root touch up with a color balance because now you kind of have to balance out the color and you're using way more product um, in the, for the hair. Because usually we'll also refresh this area as well. But usually that's the, the description of what a root touch up is. It's half an inch to an inch and a half in growth. More than that, then you would be doing a color balancing. I also think that that when you're doing a bleach and tone, it I you I I kind of see the bleach and tone as a root touch up as well because I'm just touching up at the roots. So for me personally, I just I just use it as the same service on my menu so that it's less confusing um, when someone is trying to book online you will always add a toner. I I always recommend adding a toner glaze gloss. I'm gonna have another video on that one as well to explain toner, gloss, and glaze. But I would always add that on to the, um, the service for a root touch-up. It just tends to refresh everything and your hair just feels brand new all over. So this is pretty much a root touch-up. And I hope that this helps to explain and it will give you a little bit more clarity whenever you're looking at a menu on the website or even when you go online to book and that it'll help you to decipher if this is for you or if it's not for you. Also, big point, let me not forget this one. A root touch-up sometimes comes with a highlight. So there are times where you get highlights and a root touch-up because there are girls that will literally want to change their whole base color and then they also want highlights with it. Or 
they want highlights and they have a different base color because they also want to cover the gray or whatever their natural is. So they have a different base color than their natural plus highlights. Then you kind of have to, not kind of, you have to uh, place a, an appointment with both those services, the root touch up and the partial highlight or the, or the highlights, full highlights, whatever amount of highlights you need, which we're going to have another video on highlights as well. So stay tuned for all the other services that I'm going to be explaining to give a little bit more clarity on what we do and the language we speak in the salon. So if you have any questions or if there's any service or any word that you've ever heard in the salon, please leave in the comments. I would love to share with you what it means. And also I just would love to hear your thoughts as well. So don't forget, like and subscribe and I'll see you soon. Bye.